Now, the approach that did work and what's actually suggested in the documentation, which makes a lot more sense, is to split this out into a sub workflow. And that's really uh, something I found to be a solution to this problem, but also a few other problems I'll, I'll mention along the way. So this is how it works. We still have the update loop, but instead of fetching the data and processing the data inside of this workflow, we shift this over to another sub workflow. And the reason this works is because we, when we go into the sub workflow, which looks like this, which is essentially those few nodes I had before, we get the data set items, which is 50 items. But then when we finish with this execution of the sub workflow and we get back, those items are forgotten. We don't need them anymore because they're not part of this execution. And that way you're not, you're never remembering or all 2000 items or however many you're processing, you're just remembering one batch of items and that would be in your sub workflow. So if I run this uh, version of the workflow, you'll notice something different, which is that as we're running through this, you're not seeing 50, 100, 150. You're just seeing like one, two, 15, whatever. And so if you divide our 2000 items by 50, what that's going to end up is 40. So all we are remembering here is just 40 items. So we're not remembering 2000 items at once. And that's really the key. Now for this to work, there's something else important you have to watch out for in your sub workflow. Now in this sub workflow, if I was doing this and sort of just deleted this part of the workflow, I would still be having the same problem because this uh, work sub workflow returns the results of the last node it runs. So if I was getting my 50 items, then in my workflow here, this would be returning 50 items. Then the next run it would be next 50 items. And so in 40 runs, I would still have all 2000 items that, are, that I'm remembering. So in order to avoid that, what you need to do is kind of collapse that. So I'm aggregating these 50 items into one and then, um, to, to make things even better, instead of returning all the data, uh, aggregate, depending on what these nodes are returning, might just still contain all of the data. I'm just having this set field, which basically just sets one variable to one value and that's it. So that's a very, very small amount of memory that I'm actually returning out of the workflow because that gets remembered in that main workflow. And so that solves that problem. 